Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back for another plan with me. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of Thanksgiving and this video is going up way later than I had anticipated. I actually wanted to do this as a talk through pre-planned video, but unfortunately life just got in the way and I was not able to do that. So I hope you guys don't mind that this is going up way later and a little bit past Thanksgiving, but I am using this really gorgeous kit from Honeydew Paper Shop, which I was a little intimidated by from the get-go just because the darker colors were a little bit outside of my comfort zone. I think the wood green is beautiful, but again, it's just something that I don't typically go for. But in the end, I'm really glad that I used this kit. I think it's really, really gorgeous. While I go ahead and put down my sidebar and the bulk of the kit, I just wanted to take the time and thank you all for your continued support here on my channel and on my Instagram and whatever social media platforms you follow me on. I'm super, super grateful for the planner community and I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and got to spend lots of time with your family and friends and eat lots of food. I love Thanksgiving because it's kind of like the kickoff to the holiday season for me. It's like the first big holiday where you get to gather all your friends and family around and spend lots of time with them and just create all these really great memories. Um, it's my absolute favorite time of the year. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. My family and I hosted this year. We usually host every year. So this week was full of lots of prep work and everything. And sometimes I find that more fun than the actual holiday itself. I don't know why I love the prep work so much, probably because I got to just like kind of lounge around in my sweatpants and put some music on. And uh, my sister and I baked this Wednesday. So I just, I love love uh, the prep work that goes into the holiday season. I think it's a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys did for Thanksgiving. If you are in the U.S. and you celebrate Thanksgiving, I'd love to know what you guys did and maybe what some of your holiday traditions are. This week I did something a little bit different. I didn't do a plan as I go style spread. I had a little bit more of a structured style spread. What I did was I lined all of my heart checklists up at the top and then you'll see a little bit later on that I scatter my today section and full boxes around the second and third rows. I really like the way that it came out because it was still pretty structured, but it wasn't as linear as if I were to put all the full boxes in the same row and so on and so forth with like the today headers and the to do section. So I think I'm going to be doing this a lot more in the future for my pre-planned style videos. I just ended up doing a voiceover for this one just because it was easier and I was kind of running out of time. But you'll see in a second that I start to put down my full boxes and I did omit one of the full boxes that came with the kit. There was one with a turkey and I think a pie on it. I am cognizant of the amount of meat that I eat. I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't really eat a lot of meat. So to have just like a full turkey on one of the full boxes was kind of like unappealing to me. So I just substituted it um, for a Mombi full box that I had from one of the Mombi sticker books and I put that in on Sunday. To finish up the bulk of the kit, I put down glitter headers on top of each full box and then I scattered in the today headers where there were open sections. And this week I did decide to coordinate all of my headers. So I used the same color on each day of the week. I didn't necessarily color block my spread entirely. I did pull in different colors throughout um, the days of the week when I was putting down my plans. So getting on into the day to day, on Monday I started off with an appointment label and I put down the planner that came with the kit over top of that. I uploaded a huge tag collab video on Monday. Me and four other planner girls here on YouTube did a holiday tag and we used a kit from Avalon and 9th. I will link that video up in a card up above on the screen somewhere. I did want to mark that in my planner with the large planner that came with the kit because it was so cute. And then that day the Fox and was also having a sale so I definitely wanted to remind myself of that and to mark that I just put down two strips of washi and then I had that fox and pip sticker from a sampler from her shop so I didn't really need to write in sale or anything because I knew it was happening I just wanted to mark it in my planner um, so I thought that was really cute and then I had an interview earlier that day I kind of back planned this day I started from the bottom up but I had an interview that day so to mark that I used a gold foiled icon from planning world 
I had a lot of meetings on Tuesday, so I kind of just bullet pointed them throughout my today section. To start, I layered two strips of that wood grain washi, and then I put a gold foiled remember sticker from Rose Colored Days. And then to bullet my meetings, I used these arrow stickers from Sessa V. And then I had two interviews that day as well for positions open in my job. So I used two smaller arrows at the end of that section to bullet point the interviews. I really like how that section turned out. I liked how much white space was involved in that. Um, but anyway, moving on to Wednesday, I had another meeting that day. So I marked it a little bit differently this time. I took a flag from the kit along with a coffee cup and I just wrote in my meeting in the white space there. When I got home from work that day, my sister and I baked a pumpkin cheesecake, which turned out so delicious and it was so easy to make. I'm going to link the recipe down below in case anyone is interested, but it was so, so good, you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, to mark that, I used a half box and then I pulled in some of the deco from the kit because the deco was just too cute not to use for that. So um, I just wrote in that I baked. And then Thursday, which was obviously Thanksgiving, I put a lot of the prep work that I had to get done in my to-do section. So I pulled in a half box in my today section and I layered a gold foiled Happy Thanksgiving sticker from Rose Colored Days and I layered it with a piece of deco and I was kind of just trying to figure out which would look best without kind of being too uh, cluttered in that space there. Thinking back now, the next thing that I marked, I had the perfect Pumpkin Paper Co. stickers to mark that we lit a fire. It was just a really super chill, lax day on Thursday, so um, we did light a fire, and it was so super cozy. It was the first fire of the season, which I was really excited about, um, but to mark it, I used a quarter box and the candles that um, came as part of the deco of the kit, but I might go and swap it out for one of my Pumpkin Paper Co. stickers. On Friday, I ended up covering the do of the to-do header with a shopping cart because there were exactly enough hearts listed on that heart checklist to note all of the shops that I wanted to shop from on Black Friday, so it ended up working out perfectly. And then my camera did cut out, but I layered the gold foiled Black Friday holiday sticker over top of the money bag over the full box on Friday. And shout out to Viv for using that sticker in her spread because if she didn't use it, I totally would have bypassed it on the holiday sticker sheet so thank you Viv for that um, but on Friday Marvin and I were pricing out TVs because there were a ton of good TV deals going on um, in all the electronic departments of a bunch of stores so we do need a TV for our house so we shopped around for that a little bit online I was not going into the store uh, but later on that day we did go to a relative of his um, house for a family game night which is really fun so to mark that I pulled in a half box and I layered a house icon and a gold Clever Gal Crafts foiled heart to mark that. And then we ended up coming home kind of early, so I just marked our early night in with the coffee cup with whipped cream down at the bottom there. On Saturday, I filmed a rewind spread of this week in my traveler's notebook in my B6. So to mark that, I used a half box and that traveler's notebook sticker is from Hello Petite Paper and it is absolutely adorable. Um, and then later on that day, I did some Christmas shopping for my mom and sister. So I pulled in a gold Clever Gal Crafts uh, foiled flag and I just layered a present icon over top of that. On Sunday, I started off by marking this video that is going to go live, so I put down a quarter box that was from a sampler from a planning world sheet that I had and then to mark the video I used a gold foiled planning world icon and I layered that pen from a fox and pip sampler that I had as well that pen is really cute um, I also marked my yoga class I didn't really do anything fancy for that I just pulled in a flag from the kit and then finally I marked that I filmed my plan with me for next week and to do that I just pulled in an appointment label and a gold foiled camera icon from station stickers. I wasn't expecting to pull in as much foil as I did, but I think it looks really nice and I love it with the colors of this spread. I'm super surprised at how much I love this considering the amount of like more primary colors of this kit. Usually I go for much lighter, softer colors, but I'm actually kind of digging it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun putting it together. And again, I hope you all had a really, really nice Thanksgiving. And I will chat with you all in my next video. Bye, guys.